We recently looked at the use of microbial pesticides to control disease organisms. Microbial pesticides are derived from natural materials such as animals, plants, bacteria, and even certain minerals. They may contain the actual living organism or toxins produced by that organism. In general, they're safe to use in the environment. They're more target specific than conventional pesticides and they also break down faster. And these characteristics make them in general less polluting and safer to use. Now certain of these microbials are targeted against insect pests and we call these microbial insecticides. And the best known example of that is Bacillus thuringiensis or BT, but notice it's packaged in a bottle, just like our conventional pesticides. We use them in much the same way. Some other very common uh, microbial pesticides include the fungus Bovaria bassiana, which is used against a number of beetle larvae. A rather new introduction is Spinosad, and that's available in a number of formulations. And this is effective against a variety of insect pests in the garden. But all of these products tend to be much less harmful to beneficial organisms. And that includes our predators in the garden, like the green lacewings or our predatory beetles, and also our pollinators, such as honeybees. Today I'm using a microbial insecticide to manage cabbage worms in our broccoli and cabbage plants. Cabbage worms include two key species, the imported cabbage worm and the cabbage looper. And both of these, the larvae, feed on the foliage as well as in those developing heads. And they're probably pretty familiar to us. We see those little worms. Uh, a lot of times when we boil up our broccoli, they'll come floating out. That's the insect we're talking about. And I like to start looking for them early in the season, and we tend to find them on the undersides of the leaves. If I do see them, I always just go ahead and squish them with my finger. I know not everyone wants to do that. Um, they cause some characteristic feeding holes in the leaves. When we see holes, that's a chewing insect. And they commonly reach very damaging levels. And so I'm going to go ahead and use a microbial pesticide. I'm using Bacillus thuringiensis, or BT, which I've mixed up with water. And we spray this on the plant much the same way we would spray our conventional pesticides. And we want to make sure to get really good coverage on the tops and bottoms of all the leaves and inside the head. And this is a very safe product to use. We're going to have to apply it every five to seven days. And it's safe to apply right up until the day of harvest. Mm -hmm. 